Hi, my name is David Hasfer, Senior Systems Engineer. And I'm Becky Friedman, Voice Product Manager. And we're here to talk about the wireless phones from Cisco 7925s and 8821s. David, we seem to get a lot of questions on the Cisco wireless phone, so I thought we would get together to talk about that a little more. You know, one of the ones that comes up a lot is what version of call manager do they work on? Like, for example, the 7925, what version of call manager does that work on? Yeah, absolutely. So we see this all the time as well. So with the Cisco 7925, it currently is supported all the way up to version 12.5 of call manager. So with that being said, that's the latest uh, version of call manager that's out right now at the time of this video. Uh, version 14 is going to be released in about the fall 2020 is the timeline. And they are announcing that the 7925 will be deprecated in the version 14. They're skipping version 13, but going right to 14 after 12.5. So do you see people moving right to the latest version when it comes out or how does that typically go? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be some companies that embrace uh, the new features and jump right on board. But a lot of times, and especially with us as engineers, we usually recommend going to uh, a little bit later revision after the um, bugs and the kinks are worked out. So with the 14.0 coming out in the fall of 2020, we wouldn't recommend anybody really going to that and probably until the spring of 2021. Version 14 is coming out in the fall of 2020. Um, a lot of times uh, customers won't go right to the .o release. They want to work, wait until some of those kinks and bugs and stuff are worked out. So usually uh, even the first adopters won't start adopting until at least service pack one. So you're looking at probably uh, a year from now in uh, the spring of 2021. And then even more so, uh, customers can be two to three revisions behind. So. You're talking at least you know another year and a half, two years, and then the mass a couple of years behind that before the 7925 won't work on their current version of call manager. So, so customers who have the 7925s, they don't have to just run right out and switch over. Exactly. The one thing that would be worried about is that the end of support. So they would be uh, no more firmware updates if the hardware breaks. They're responsible for it, but. You know, with it being a little bit older model phone, it's still current, it still can be uh, purchased, it can still work on networks, everything like that. Right. So then with the 8821, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that just works on everything? Or? Yeah, exa exactly. The 8821, you know, with it being the newer Cisco model phone uh, that replaced the 7925 directly, it will work on all the new versions of Call Manager going forward. Uh, the one thing we did notice though, is that the 8821s are actually not supported on the cloud registration, as far as the true Cisco cloud from the Broadsoft acquisition, but it still would work on the HCS. So uh, HCS being the hybrid cloud solution, that is still uh, Cisco true Call Manager. So the 8821 would work on that one but not the new Cisco WebEx calling platform, which is the Broadsoft acquisition. Thanks for watching our video on the Cisco 7925 and 8821 wireless phones. We can help with these models by buying and selling them. I'm Becky. I'm David. And this is Tech Tips.